Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about some technical notes that are going to be important for this spatial technology module or course. I know this topic sounds super, super boring, but stay with us. It will be important not only for the course, but for your future teaching with spatial technologies. Now, the beauty of today's geographic tools running in the cloud, both for this course and for teaching in your own classroom, is that there's nothing to install on your local computer. That means you don't have to deal with IT staff and install things, and also you can use a variety of different devices. But we do wish to bring some technical notes to your attention as follows. First of all, hardware. To access this course, you need a desktop, laptop, or tablet computer. A smartphone alone, even an oversized smartphone, is just not going to give you the real estate necessary to make use of the web maps and the discussions that are a fundamental part of this course. In other words, there's going to be some things off to the side that you just won't be able to see on a smartphone. Mac or PC Windows operating systems, either one, are just fine. Now we will be making maps with a variety of technologies. This is point number two. These maps are laden with information and often use JavaScript, Python, and other tools to make them operate. Therefore, a decent broadband web connection is very important for this course. One might argue that it is the most important thing to have a decent web connection. Number three, to take advantage of these web-based exciting technologies, you need to be using a new-ish version of a standard web browser such as Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer even, or Edge. In other words, a five-year-old web browser may not work so well with all of the, the interactive maps and other tools that run the maps from behind the scenes. And therefore, an old web browser may not display your maps correctly. In addition, these web mapping tools work best when your browser is not, how should I say, laden with additional tools that you sometimes see on people's web browsers where they've got Ask Jeeves and all kinds of other add-ons. Get rid of those and uh, get rid of any other toolbars that you may have added. In other words, a clean web browser is best. Also, your experience is usually best if you are running one of these web mapping tools in a single browser instance or a single tab in that browser. Because you're creating content and saving live interactive web maps, if you're logged into, say, ArcGIS Online multiple times in multiple windows, you may experience versioning issues where the latest version of your map may be in a tab that you've not yet saved rather than in the tab that you did save. So keep tabs on your tabs. Get it? Keep tabs on your tabs. This will make more sense as we go through the course. Now folks, the technologies we will use in this course include ArcGIS Online, Google Maps, Gapminder, Slippy Maps, the Urban Observatory, and a few others. Now they all run within a web browser, so there's nothing to install, no software to install or download. That's good news. Number five, because this course is web-based and uses dynamic web maps, as with anything on the web, practice the kind of problem solving that you want your students to do, being flexible and patient in the process. If a certain map or website won't display at a certain time, no worries. Try a different browser, try it at a different time, or try approaching the URL from its organizational level and drill down to the desired site. Check with your colleagues or me in the discussion forums to see if others are having the same issue. If your map or tool still won't appear, I'd rather have you move on and think about the larger issues that we are discussing. For example, the patterns, the relationships, the trends. Not, for example, the technical details of whether you can get that photo to add as an image in your pop-up to the map. See what I mean? It's the bigger issues that are more important, not so much the technical details. You can always come back to the particular resource later and try again. The goal, have fun, keep learning, and keep asking questions about the big, wide, wonderful world around you. Point number six is most of the work that we will do in the course will not require a login to the tools that we will use. They will not require a login. There are two reasons why the course is designed this way. We, number one, want to demonstrate there are compelling, rich, and varied things that you can do with this web mapping platform without logging in or having your students log into any sort of account. Number two, we want to plant a seed that if you want to dig deeper with these tools, you might consider logging in and having your students log in at some point to something like ArcGIS Online. 
Now we will require some logins to that system and, and maybe some other systems as the course progresses. But for the some of the activities, no login required. Lastly, think outside the particular theme or lesson box that you happen to be working in. For example, we will be analyzing how many earthquakes are within a certain distance of Melbourne or what percentage are within a certain distance of the plate boundary. Maybe teaching with plate tectonics is not your thing. Maybe it's not something you actually teach. But with the same skills that you are gaining and with these same tools, you can do the same sorts of things on the data sets germane to what you are actually teaching. So what percentage of the world's cities say are above 5 million people and are within 20 kilometers of a coastline? Kind of an important question. How many crimes are within a certain distance of the shopping mall in a city? What percentage of water samples that your students collect have a pH of less than 5.5 downstream from a certain culvert in your city? So in any lesson that we're going through, think, okay, I'm going to use these same tools on other kinds of data and other problems and issues and themes that I actually will teach. Thanks.